Electrical engineers spend a lot of time talking about signals, which are, in general, a means of transferring or representing information. The characteristics of an electrical signal are determined by its relationship between amplitude and time. This relationship can be captured by mathematical expressions and by sequences of data points, but in many cases the most concise, convenient, and informative method is a visual representation. We often analyze signals by way of graphs in which the vertical axis indicates amplitude and the horizontal axis indicates time. The result is a curve whose changes in vertical position correspond to a signal's variation in voltage or current. Electrical signals come in an endless variety of shapes and sizes, but perhaps the most fundamental categorization is that of DC versus AC. DC stands for direct current, and AC stands for alternating current. Current is direct if it always flows in the same direction, whereas alternating current periodically changes direction. The terms DC and AC have become generic adjectives that can describe voltages and even currents. We often say DC current instead of direct current, and DC voltage is not really interpreted as direct current voltage. Rather, it indicates that the voltage does not change polarity, meaning it is always positive or always negative. The terms AC and DC can describe signals as well. The signal on the left is AC. The voltage regularly extends above and below the horizontal axis, which corresponds to an amplitude of zero volts. The signal on the right is DC. It has significant variations in amplitude, but the voltage is always in the positive portion of the graph. The terms AC and DC are closely associated with power supply voltages. These voltages are generated by sources and are a means of injecting electrical energy into a circuit. Despite the fact that AC supply voltages always vary with respect to time, we generally don't refer to them as signals because their purpose is to supply energy rather than represent or transmit information. The two most common sources of electrical energy are generators and batteries. Generators are AC sources. They produce sinusoidal voltages that periodically vary between positive polarity and negative polarity. Batteries create a static potential difference between the two terminals, and consequently, they are DC sources. Electrical energy is distributed through the power grid as alternating current, but electronic systems require DC supply voltages. An AC supply voltage can be converted into a stable DC supply voltage by means of a rectifier followed by a voltage regulator. We'll learn more about AC to DC conversion and voltage regulation in future video tutorials. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.